Hello everyone, in today's video I want to share this cool tool that I heard about and I've been playing with quite a bit lately called Next Sim Flight. What it does is it allows you to basically find a flight. Now the reason I really, really love this is that it actually works really, really simply. For example, let's say I wanted to create a departure airport of uh, Hartford, Connecticut here, which is my go-to in the real world. Gives you all these nice handy details. I can see clearly the wind's coming out of mostly the north today. A little gusty, but nothing terrible kind of a thing like that. Now I can come down here, I can select the aircraft I'm interested in flying a random flight with here. Now let's say I do a fast piston, which is pretty typical. I can come down here and pick my range. Let's say I'm doing an after dinner flight kind of a thing in between 15 and 45 minutes. I can come over here now and pick the type of airport that I'm interested in. For example, let's say I do a regional airport. Schedule passenger service, eh, it's fine. Weather conditions, eh, it's fine. That sim coverage, if I needed it, I could do that. But what I'm going to do instead is come down here and simply press the search button. Now what that will do is that will make tons of useful recommendations for you. Now the fun thing is, and this cracks me up a little bit, the number of airports that have just been listed here that I've landed at, because that's what you do when you get a plane, is you fly everywhere locally just because you can. It just, it kills me just a little. But let's say I pick Keene, for example. Now, if I were to click this real fast, you can see it actually generates a quick little flight plan that gives you an idea of everything going on in that kind of region, as well as the relevant weather that you have down here. It'll even let you know if there's any scheduled flights or anything along those lines kind of here, which is really, really, really cool stuff. I love the fact they give you all the different TAFs, and you get this really cool button option down here, which actually allows you to continue your journey for the purposes of actually, you know, going into things such as our finder, the flight plan database, or you could even come over in here and Sky Vector if that's something that you want to check out and kind of continue. Now, this is just a link to Sky Vector. It doesn't send the flight plan over yet, but keep in mind, all those details are there if you want. And even let you know if there's an add-on checker for like a flight sim, that's kind of darn cool if you ask me. The other thing that's really cool about this program, which I think is really awesome, is you can search schedules by clicking down here. So for example, if I clicked on airline, for example, let's uh, do my pretty much go-to airline all the time, which would be Pan Am. Not a thing anymore, so uh, we can't do that, so I'll do Delta. So if I go to Delta Airlines, just like that, you can hit search routes. And what it will do is it'll actually make some recommendations. It'll tell you the different planes that they have. It tells the popular routes, and they're all beautifully listed here, including having a little button where you can just go bloop, just like that, if you want to go send it over to SimBrief. So if you want to copy a real world flight plan, this is just amazing. Like you gotta admit, that is darn cool. One of the things cool that I like is if you go to aircraft, so let's say I want to do something really, really funny here. I wonder if they've got the map. There's the Mooney 20. Does anybody fly the aircraft, the Mooney 20, from time to time? And you can see there are no scheduled flights. Does not surprise me. Let's try something a little bit more common here. Let's try a Cirrus 22. Aha, there we go. We can see these are all the popular airlines, and I said that with finger quotes. You can't see the finger quotes, but you know they're there that would be using this particular aircraft. And again, at any point, I could just, just like that into Simbri for those of you who have that connection. Now, my favorite point in this entire program, and make sure you buy this guy coffee, it's pretty awesome stuff, is the random routes button. I think this is so darn cool. So coming into here, discover random routes. Uh, there's a randomized button. Uh, you can actually go here with the filters and kind of say international airports. I personally love local airports because you can come down here and do something like a fast piston in the local airport. Say I want a flight time of, uh, I don't know, we'll do half an hour, which is pretty good. Now, if I actually were to run this, watch this. This is so cool. It, whoop. Wow, okay, we ended up in the North Americans for one time. Every single time I've tried this so far, I've ended up basically in another continent, which is fantastic. But as you can see here, it's basically generated a random flight for me. And just like that, it's like, oh, this looks like fun. And you can see we've got the conditions and everything listed out. It kind of gives me all sorts of critical details here, my weather, and everything along there is basically ready to go for you for that particular purpose, which is darn awesome if you ask me. Go back to random routes. Let's say I want to do something international. Let's say I'm flying an narrow body aircraft or something like that. I'm looking for about an hour flight. Ooh, I can't wait to see what this is going to come up with. Let's see if we get this time. Hey, hey, look at that. Uh, that's a Heathrow in Glasgow. Uh, absolutely fantastic. I actually get to visit this lovely place over the summer. Fingers crossed. Let's hope nothing weird happens. But the neat thing here is here's all your suggestions. And when you're ready, you just boop the button and you're on your way. So as you can see, this is a really useful tool for the purposes of basically, um, oh, it's almost like a sky vector, not sky vector, like a flight aware, kind of all built in. You can see, I just love how I can go to Bradley and I can see what all the different people like our X-Planes and Avella, oh man, those guys are really starting to get popular in Connecticut, which is to their credit there. And it's just awesome that you can just come in here and just push these buttons. You can even come to the flight aware page if you want to like take a look at the individual details here. And I just think it's, like I said, such a neat tool if you're looking for that next flight. Enjoy.